In July 2022, NASA released the latest photos from the James Webb Space Telescope. A NASA employee made a shocking discovery and found more photos. This employee decided to leak these photos. Why did NASA hide these photos? Why were these photos in a report they didn't want to share with the outside world? What did they see in these photos that we weren't allowed to see? Continue watching the video and we'll explain it to you. A few days ago, the James Webb Space Telescope showed us some truly breathtaking images, and we were left unable to find the words to adequately describe them. NASA had previously raised the bar when it came to seeing back in time 13 billion years, but the color images that allowed us to do just that were more spectacular in every way. The very first color picture that Webb took reveals hundreds of galaxies, some of which are the farthest distant objects that have ever been seen in infrared. The first deep field image captured by Webb is not only the first image to be captured in its whole in color, but it is also the most detailed and crisp infrared image to date of a remote region of the cosmos. A particle of air about the size of a grain of sand may be seen in this picture when it is held at arm's length. It is only a very small part of the enormous cosmos, according to Bill Nelson of NASA. Ingenuity on the part of humans, specifically the incredible team at NASA Webb and our international colleagues at the European and Canadian space agencies, was responsible for making this mission a reality, ESA and CSA. What we were able to do with Webb is just the beginning of what we will be able to do in the future if we collaborate for the betterment of humanity. This image is a sneak peek of even more pictures that were published shortly after this one. The picture depicts a galaxy cluster known as SMACS0723 as it appeared 4.6 billion years ago. The combined mass of the cluster works like a magnifying glass by enhancing the appearance of galaxies that are located much further away in the background. These extremely far off galaxies are now brought into clear focus by Webb's NERCAM. They have extremely small structures that are difficult to make out, and nobody has ever seen anything like them before. As Webb looks for the very first galaxies to exist in our universe, scientists will get further knowledge on the mass, age, history, and composition of the galaxies. A successor to the well-known Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope will have a price tag of around $10 billion. On Christmas Day in 2021, French Guiana in South America was the location where the launch of Webb took place. The first images of faraway galaxies have finally been captured, following months of laborious focusing and equipment preparation. Yesterday at the White House, President Joe Biden presented the world with the first color image produced by NASA's James Webb Telescope. This first image demonstrates how strong the infrared telescope is, as well as how crisp it is. These pictures remind us that America is capable of doing great things and remind the American people, especially our children, that there is nothing we cannot do, President Biden said at the unveiling of the photographs we are able to recognize opportunities that no one else has ever seen before. We are able to travel to locations that have never been visited by anyone in the past. In addition to the five color photos, NASA sent a detailed report on how the powerful space telescope was doing its duties. This exhaustive NASA research has a nugget of invaluable information that is buried deep inside its pages. On page nine of the report, there is a picture that seems like it's out of control, but it doesn't seem to have any importance at all. This picture doesn't depict far-off galaxies or glittering clouds of gas, but rather it displays Jupiter, which is only a few thousand light years away. This breathtaking image of the largest gas giant in our solar system was captured by James Webb. It features Jupiter's rings in addition to three of Jupiter's moons, Europa, Thebes, and Metis. In point of fact, one can spot Europa's shadow a few hundred kilometers to the left of Jupiter's iconic Great Red Spot. The near-infrared camera on the Webb Space Telescope took these photos of Jupiter with its NERCAM. It is possible for this near-infrared camera to recognize planets despite the fact 
that its primary function is to detect the feeble light emitted by young stars and galaxies in their formative phases. In the picture that can be seen above, filtering that is employed for short wavelengths can be seen on the left. The image on the right was made by employing a filter that puts more of an emphasis on the longer light wavelengths. The images of Jupiter were obtained when James Webb was still in the process of preparing for and conducting tests. James Webb maintained a watchful eye on the gas behemoth for a couple of different reasons. Researchers anticipate challenging observations while seeing Jupiter's rings and moons since Jupiter is so densely populated with stars. With the help of the fine guidance sensor, it should also be able to identify neighboring stars. Because of this, our plan was to make use of the NERCAM during the testing process so that we could monitor any moving objects. In particular, the fine guidance sensor ensures that the telescope will be able to maintain its focus on the objects that are the subject of the investigation for an extended period of time. In a nutshell, it ensures that telescopes are able to see their mission goals in a clear and unobstructed manner. Webb will be directed by the instrument whenever it looks through the telescope. This will ensure the high degree of precision necessary to discover new information about stars, exoplanets, galaxies, and a great deal more. The fine guidance sensor will be of tremendous assistance to the mission that James Webb is tasked with completing. For instance, it is the only tool that will be utilized during each observation that will be carried out. If one knows that the image they are looking at of Jupiter is correct, then they may relax. Demonstrates it is capable of capturing minute details like as Jupiter's moons and rings with its extremely strong telescope. In addition, this image demonstrates Webb's capacity to track moving targets despite the presence of the bright planet's diffused light. According to the findings of the study, these findings provide credence to the concept that the star identification system would operate normally even if Jupiter were present, given that the distance between the fine guidance sensor and Jupiter is at least 140 inches. The observatory has been painstakingly prepped for use by the mission crews over the course of the past six months. As a component of this endeavor, monitoring the functionality of the space telescope was an essential step to take. Not long after that, the researchers came to the conclusion that the telescope is doing even better than expected. According to the study, some of the improvements include the optical alignment is substantially better, the optical performance is more stable, the mirrors are much cleaner, the fine guidance sensor is many times more exact than necessary. At the end of the allotted period for preparation, there is only one conclusion that can be formed. The most important effect of the six-month preparation time was this. James Webb is totally capable of making the discoveries for which it was created, the authors state. NASA built the James Webb Space Telescope with the purpose of assisting humanity in gaining a deeper comprehension of the formation and progression of planetary systems, star systems, and galaxies. It should come as no surprise that this will go places. The groundbreaking work that James Webb has done in the field of science marks the beginning of what will likely be many years of study. Thanks for watching this video to the end. Let us know in the comments what you think about keeping the James Webb Space Telescope photo secret. Why did NASA do this? Did you find this video interesting? We have another interesting video ready for you. Click on it and we'll take you on the next space adventure. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.